Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Justin Gaethje. Ready. Ready to fight. Here we go. Just a slip there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Just misses there with the left. Look at him drive his shin into the body with that body. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Oh, big punch land. Come on, push through it. Oh, 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 oh. oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place for you to escape the pressure of Justin Gaethje. What a big mistake out there. Crowded pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. He's gonna take off here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. 
All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Gaethje. Tags him with the left. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. 53 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliveira. And the accuracy rate, by the way, for scoring at home, 47% to this point in the fight against Justin Gaethje. Back to the feet now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, knee to the head. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got it in front of him. Oh, that, that was What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Body kick now by Oliveira. What a fight. Oh! Gaethje gets the tie clinch here. Double leg here, Oliveira gets the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really it up. The is able to relay that message to their fighter better get the Lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Both guys appear to land there. Shows him the left, and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Oliveira. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat Mouse, you gotta play Cat Mouse. Hit, don't get hit, he does a great job of that. 78 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliver. And just below 50% landing at a 46% clip tonight against Justin Gage. Oh, he kicked off. Beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you don't have to go and find the takedown. You just see something, you counter and react on it, and it makes the takedown much easier. Oliveras has got full mount now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Gaethje. Grounding and pounding away. Nice strikes to the body there by Oliver. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 
keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Gaethje's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Able to land the single ground strike there. Oliveris right back to the full mount. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oliveris right back to the full mount here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Pretty good knee to the body by Gaethje. Straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Beautiful body kick. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue. It's a band but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival mode. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. And that one was heavy. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Oliveira. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Real nice body kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Under a minute to go in round four. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. and the tide has officially turned. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Beautiful kick. Wow, 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. Which this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oliveira grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Under two minutes now with which to work. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. You gotta be very careful not to stay on the ground and extend the grappling transition too much because he's so dangerous. Maybe he'll try to isolate a leg here in DC. Oh, he's got it isolated. Now he falls off to the side. Oh, he tried to adjust his lock over the top to put pressure on his opponent's knee. <laughs> pressure on that knee, you have no choice but to tap. Busama Pagliata somewhere, smiling. smiling. <laughs> he loves that. He loves running out some of his knee. Charles Oliveira! Just a great display of jujitsu technique there in that fight. Beautiful job with the grappling with his transitions. Just high level the way he trapped the opponent's leg and ultimately forced him to tap out. You don't see that every day in modern day MMA, but color me impressed. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out, Charles the Bronx. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight. And Stand up. We must fight. That. Oh, couple left me out to dry. I had to crucify. Stab me in my back. You ain't my dog. You getting euthanized. Lying on the gang and speaking down. This shit is suicide. Black ain't no excuse and getting on because we unified.